more on what to expect from the teacher strike with Columbus City Schools and the next steps for Columbus teachers, we are joined now by the Columbus Education Association spokesperson, Regina Fuentes. Yeah, she's joining us by phone. And Regina, let's just start plain and simple. How did we get to this point? Uh, good morning, and thank you for this opportunity to speak um, with the public. Um, we got to this point because the district decided to cut off negotiations before they were ready to be done with. Um, we had made progress on the proposals that were made, um, but the job is still not done, and we want more for our students in Columbus. Yeah, Regina, talk to us about the sticking points. I think a lot of people hear about a teacher strike and they think it comes down to money going to the teachers, but that's not the case here, correct? That is not the case here. The case here is our students show up every day with the hope that they are going to get the best education they possibly can. We need to return that hope to our students and understand that, okay, if you're giving us the opportunity to teach you and to educate you and help you to grow and learn, then we need to give back and let you know that we're going to take care of you. And we need to take care of them by providing them with schools that are fixed, schools that are safe, um, and schools that are, you know, ready, fully resourced with the things that are, you know, going to help them uh, move forward. Obviously, a lot of parents right now are making that tough decision what to do with their students as they get ready for this first day of school on Wednesday. We've had some parents say they won't have their students take part in the online learning. Others obviously afraid of what that means for absences, as Columbus City Schools uh, says they'll still count those. What is your advice for the parents as they try to navigate this first week of school here? Well, first off, I want to thank our parents who have been extremely supportive through all of this. Um, they have really just stepped up and shown us that, you know, that they understand what we're doing. Um, and I truly do believe that our students and our parents understand what they're doing. They don't like being lied to. They don't like being placated to by the district, being told that, you know, the education that they, they are proposing um, that they're going to provide during this remote session is going to be equal to what we have to offer. Um, our parents, we need to give them so much more credit than that. They know, um, they know what value that we have, and they know that we're looking out for their best interests. Now, Regina, we know that 94% of your members voted to strike. We also know that Columbus City Schools' plan to start the year mentions teachers that may not strike. Do you have any indication on a percentage of teachers that may actually end up teaching to start off the year? I have no idea of that number. Um, based off of last night, I feel very comfortable and confident that our members will show up to the picket lines in solidarity and that they will support our efforts to give students the schools that they deserve. All right. Regina Fuentes, spokesperson for the Columbus Education Association, joining us here on NBC4 today this morning with more information on uh, the big vote last night and obviously the road ahead. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now, we do want to mention we reached out for an interview with the Columbus City School Board, but they did not make anyone available for us this morning. The board is holding an emergency meeting tonight at 8 o'clock. And they said the meeting is, quote, to prepare for, conduct, or review negotiations or bargaining sessions with public employees concerning their compensation or other terms and conditions of their employment. And that meeting is not open to the public.